Hey, what's up, people? Um, I'm back and I'm here with another video, but uh, this time it's gonna be about Docker. So, ever since I passed my exams, I've been trying to get into um, the uh, DevOps world. I've been trying to actually, I'm not. I've been trying to uh, teach myself about the CI CD and some of the tools that they use, like for instance, Jenkins, uh, Docker, uh, Ansible, and um, next would be Kubernetes and maybe even Terraform after that. But so. I usually learn with books and books and um, video tutorials and that's how I learn or that's how I teach myself and I went on reddit now I asked them why they asked but I looked up the uh, most popular book for docker and people were saying docker deep dive and um, which is right here so uh, and uh, if you're like me and you switch up things like what's the most popular book for docker you're going to see a lot of answers that will say uh, well, Docker can't really have a book because it's always being updated and it's constantly changing and this, this, and hoo blah. So, the thing about this book is that the author continually upgrades upgrades the uh, the ebook, and I purchased it on Kindle, and mm, and the ebook it's continually being upgraded, and apparently you can even use this book for the Docker certification. But I'm I don't have aspirations like that. I just want to learn how to use this the uh, the software so I can use it for my purposes but um but so far so good i've been addicted to this book really i think i purchased it on um february 27th today's the first that's uh i don't know like four days and i'm on page uh 183 i just got to the docker swan part and this book is great if you have no idea what docker is or what it's about it goes through the ins and outs of docker and it gets you up to I think I think it covers almost everything you'll need from it covered almost everything I'll need I'm getting to a part in the book now we're starting to get into the the um, services that are used for more um, scaled out operations and it's getting past the point of usefulness for me but I'm going to continue reading it anyways in case I have to use this in my day to day but it, it, it was very good and helping me understand the difference between docker um, docker compose um, docker images docker containers and I've even um, had an account on docker hub now and it taught me how to push and pull images from um, docker hub and how to c deploy containers and I'm trying to I was because before the reason why I'm doing this is because I was using vagrants as uh, with Ansible to deploy um, infrastructure but then um, those VMs were a little bit too intensive for my computer I, I can have a computer it's pretty good but it's not like crazy or anything and if I would have too many VMs at, at once, my computer would see uh, performance degradation. So I needed something that was more lightweight and containers were very lightweight. So I, I thought it'd be great for me to get into Docker so I can go back to training Ansible a little bit better. But, uh, but other than that, so let me take you to the table of contents because it's some good stuff. Um, go to, let's go to cover. Yep, so. It gets you, it explains to you what containers are, um, Docker, the history of Docker, how Docker works under the hood, um, what images are, containers, containerizing an app, deploying apps with Docker Compose, Docker networking, I haven't gotten there yet, but it just explains everything you need to know. But even though you read the stuff, you still have to practice it. Like me, I have to practice um, using Docker or else I need to... Uh, or else I forget, or else this is for is useless. Like I have to run use the commands Docker contain run or Docker contain stop or or whatever or Docker image build. I have to use it to understand what the hell I'm doing. If I read it, it's good, but it's not good enough for me. So I have my VM here. And this is like my um my um sandbox so i have three containers up right now uh jenkins container this is some um, centos container and i forgot what this is i was just playing around with it i, I don't know what this is so it's just really useful to have this practice and to, to really dig in and understand what the hell i'm doing and hopefully i can uh get back to my ansible book because uh that stuff is good too i also have a book on ansible from the guy who um who co-founded Ansible? Co-founded the uh, Ansible? It's called um, Ansible for DevOps with Jeff Geerling, which is really good. 
I also recommend this book because this taught me a lot about how to properly form playbooks and uh, I still have to get to Antelope Galaxy but that's a topic for a different video that you can expect from me so um that's it Docker for it's called Docker Deep Dive great book I recommend to anybody who's trying to get into Docker and knows nothing about it um, it'll change your life especially for somebody like me who works on VMs who uses VMs and VMs take a lot of uh, resources compared to a Docker container if you can do what you can if you can practice in a Docker container over a VM definitely do it a hundred percent this will save me a lot of um, effort and uh, blood sweat and tears if I knew about Docker earlier but um thanks for watching if you made it this far make sure you like and subscribe I'm trying to get more content out more videos out I have been um, job searching I'm on back on the job search again trying to get a new job trying to move off with the help desk but um, I can't make videos about it while I'm still employed because that's kind of dumb so after I get employed when I get employed at a new place I will make a video about that and uh, have a nice day people see you around